So conservative management is usually effective in majority of the babies at or about 28 weeks because it closes by 8 to 10 days on its own in majority of these babies and they are not going to be that symptomatic so we can wait and uh, it will close. Only a small proportion of the larger premature babies would need medical treatment for the duct and these are the cases where the duct stays significantly open and echo parameters are significant despite conservative treatment. And conservative treatment mainly covers relative fluid restriction. Uh, at the same time, we should not forget that we need to grow and uh, adequate growth is important. So restrict as far as you can. And we should use PEEP with non-invasive ventilation to avoid the respiratory compromise from the flooding of the lungs. The restricted use of diuretics mainly to reduce congestion related effects. So the diuretics don't have a remarkable impact. It doesn't have a direct impact. And in fact, some studies may show that the frusamide may have a negative impact in keeping the duct open longer. So it's better to give intermittent doses on and off to tide over periods when you have difficulty oxygenating or the baby is more tachypnic uh, rather than regularly giving diuretic therapy.